Sarah and Becca are going to sell tokens at the Old Fashioned Token Booth. Can I have ten tokens, please? Ten tokens, uh -huh. You put them right here in the little dish so they don't fly all over the place. Oh, thank you. I can ride the subway a lot of times. <laughs> Even the Metro card hadn't gotten that bad, Becca. Becca and Sarah at the Subway Museum demonstrating their great strength, lifting these 50 pounds. <laughs> really good, girls. This is how they blasted the original tunnels. That is great, girls. Sarah and Becca are enjoying a 1948 subway train. And actually, these were still in service in the 1960s. Because I remember riding these things with those fans, and the windows had to be down because there was no air conditioning, so there was just thunderous noise all the time. And that's where the conductor would go. Say, oh, look, the old ads. Yeah, oh, that's locked. We can't go in there, hon. But did you see all the ads up above? Wow, this is really neat. But the funny thing is, I actually, and, this, and the straw seats, or wherever they are, wicker, I don't know what you call them. Wow. This is great. We are now in the 1950s car, which I actually remember from those, those venti things up above. But the circle ones, I remember the other one more with those fans. But I surely rode on one of these as well. To 1963. With the 1963 cars, no more nice cushy seats. No, it's hard plastic from now on. Still those things up above, and also the original ads from the period, too. We're going to Flushing or Times Square, I'm not sure. <laughs> How would I know that you would think that was hilarious? Street Flushing. Very good, Becca. Flushing Street. <laughs> 1927 car. With the overhead fans. Honey, I'm looking. This is just fascinating to me, hon. I don't know if any of these were in service at the time in the 60s or not. <laughs> oh, yeah. And it spins. Yeah, the other door, the, the other end is here. I think now we're in one of the old Brooklyn cars from about 1907, it says. Enjoying the breeze at the old Court Street Station, home of... Thousands of different subway cars. Not thousands, but a lot. Welcome to 1917. As far as I know, I never rode a car like this. And a modern car in here for variety. So kids 100 years from now will be able to say, Wow! They had all these poles in here the kids could climb! Yay! Look at these! I see you, Sarah. So does the video. 1961 or 2013? Spinning around poles remains a constant. Is it really that slippery? <laughs> Apparently so. Here we are in the 1940s car, which is one of the most interesting. The seats are extremely comfortable. Campfire girls. Campfire girls. And some extremely odd ads up here. This is the creepiest one. These look like monsters eating cake for dinner. Ah, uh, eat it. Bleh. Brain cake. Nom, nom, nom. And Sarah's whapping me from the back. No, yeah, I'm emulating. Becca. It's Becca whapping me from the back. Okay. Who won't be there? When we go. <laughs> this is a great trip. This is a fantastic museum. Sarah and Becca spinning the wheel to make electricity on the mad scientist machine. There it goes. Becca is a good conductor of electricity. Lights up the neon light. <laughs> Sarah lighting up a light bulb. <laughs> and with the buses, Sarah is putting natural gas into a bus, and Rebecca is demonstrating how catalytic converters work, more or less. And out here, there's the old bus. When I first moved here in the 80s, that was still in use. And here's the modern day bus. She actually can sit in, in the back, sort of. Sarah is preparing for her career as a filling station attendant in New Jersey. <laughs> Enjoying the old-time wooden turnstiles. No, just to enter, honey. But in the older stations, they hadn't bothered to replace these in 1987. I used a lot of these old wooden ones. This one in particular. Not the five-cent ones. It was already 75 cents when I moved here. 